There is nothing quite like the fervor of the newly converted. While someone born into a religion may be a more casual worshiper, an individual who comes into their faith later in life often lets it reshape their entire existence. Such is the case of Clan Septic, one of Clan Pestilent's numerous thrall clans. They were early converts to the Pestilent cause, swearing fealty to their current overlords during the first great Skaven civil war over 2,000 years ago, and they have lost none of their zeal. They are the most devoted of Clan Pestilent's servants, and some suggest that their faith exceeds even their masters. Indeed, it has warped their actions into something decidedly unscaven. Clan Septic's zeal has replaced their natural tendency towards treachery and cowardice with relative loyalty and bravery. While Clan Pestilence is happy to exploit such willing troops, it is still somewhat unnerving for their fellows to encounter a Skaven without disloyalty in their hearts. Clan Septic has proclaimed itself the right claw of Clan Pestilence. While this is nothing more than a self-appointed position, Clan Pestilence has done nothing to dissuade the Thrall Clan from holding this belief. After all, you can never have too much enthusiastic cannon fodder, and few things can create more motivated warriors than blind devotion mixed with delusions of grandeur. Clan Septic has both these qualities in spades. As such, they are often used carelessly by their masters, thrown into the thick of battle with little concern for their safety. Despite this, the warriors of Clan Septic always emerge from their fights basically unscathed. Some in the Under Empire see this as clear proof of the Horned Rat's favor, or how else could they survive the peril their masters keep exposing them to? The warriors of Clan Septic curate their appearance around being harbingers of decay. Their weapons are rusted from use and poor maintenance, and having a rustier weapon is seen as a status symbol. They wear off-white robes and use off-white banners, the better to contrast any fluids that may leak from their sores. Any bandages they wear are designed to accentuate their diseased appearance, rather than truly cover their wounds. Finally, Clan Septic's banners bear the diseased claw, a potent symbol of the power of pestilence. When fully assembled for war, there can be no mistaking the filthy warriors of Clan Septic for any other clan. Clan Septic has an order of elite warriors known as Plague Vermin. Taking the role of Storm Vermin within the clan, these warriors are the best that Clan Septic has to offer. They are gifted the rustiest weapons in the clan's arsenal to honor their prestigious position. Somehow, despite their dilapidated appearance, these weapons never seem to break or lose their edge. If this is some enchantment wrought by the clan's spellcasters or another blessing from the Horned Rat is unclear. To those impaled upon their rusty blades, however, the difference is largely academic. If you want to bring Clan Septic on tabletop, you can bring a fairly conventional plague-themed army. Lots of plague monks, plague claw catapults, and plague priests, alongside the usual mass of clan rats. There are three ways to distinguish Clan Septic from their fellows, however. First, make sure that all of your banners have the Mark of the Disease Claw on them. It's a common icon among Clan Septic, and an easy way to make sure your banner bearers are more distinctive. Secondly, you can really lean into that uniquely disgusting appearance of theirs. Paint them an off-white color before adding plenty of green, black, and brown stains to the fabric. Make sure their weapons are good and rusty, with your lords and heroes carrying rustier weapons than the Clan Rats and Skaven Slaves. Finally, bring a big block of storm vermin. These will be your plague vermin. It's a bit unusual to see one of Clan Pestilence's Thrall clans use so much heavy infantry, so a nod to that can go a long way towards making your army more uniquely fiend. Bonus points if you can cast Bless with Filth on them to get the illusion that they're using poisoned weapons like their plague monk allies. In Total War Warhammer 3, Clan Septic is a minor Skaven faction that starts in northwestern Nagaroth. While they initially have four settlements, that will not last long, as they are both Gromrindle and Malekith's starting enemy. They tend to die quite fast. Besides this, Clan Septic does have another, minor reference in-game. Blight Scab's Plague Pack, the regiment of renowned Plague Monk sensor bearers on the Skaven roster, hail from Clan Septic's ranks. They are getting their own video in short order, that's all you'll be hearing for now, but it's still worth pointing out in this video. With our Total War segment out of the way, we have come to the end of our overview of Clan Septic. They're frankly a bit underwhelming, as their whole gimmick seems to be extra devoted warriors among an already extremely devoted sub-faction, which isn't exactly the kind of thing to set the imagination on fire. Still, I like their focus on heavy infantry, and Plague Vermin would be a cool addition to the Skaven roster if CA decides to release another, hopefully more reasonably priced, Skaven DLC in the future. Not that the Raddies need any more units, but it could still be fun to see. 
Anyway, that's all I have for today. So until next time, this has been Sigmar's Chosen, signing off for now. <laughs>